All right, boys and girls, we are kind of in a week of shortcuts. So um, you've already learned how to do the shortcut, who's the boss for rounding whole numbers. You have learned how to memorize the first six prime numbers, which will help you out. It'll be a great shortcut later on with the task we do with prime numbers. Here is the next topic in our week of shortcuts. This shortcut is amazing because if you know a single multiplication fact, for example, if you know the multiplication fact four times three equals 12, then you know all of the following. You know 40 times three, 400 times 30, 40 times 30, 400 times 300, 4,000 times three, just by knowing that four times three equals 12. Well, if you take a look, you can see that all of these multiplication problems have something in common. They have a four, times three somewhere in there, but just some additional zeros. And that is where our shortcut kicks in. We know that the beginning part of the answer is going to be 12 because four times three is 12, but there will be zeros incorporated or in the final answer. And so this little shortcut here, guys, is going to be very, very helpful. And this short shortcut is called box and dot. And it only works when you're dealing with multiplication and it works when you're dealing with multiplication with patterns with zeros. And so there's a very simple rule. Box the fact and multiply, add on the zeros, don't be shy. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you some examples and then you guys will show me that you understand. So let me put this in full screen here. Let me grab a marker. And it says box the fact and multiply. When you're boxing the multiplication fact, you need to box everything except the zeros. And so you can see here that two times six, and again, this is multiplication, is going to be our multiplication fact. And we know two times six is 12. But we know the answer to 200 times 60 is not 12 because the phrase goes box the fact and multiply, add on the zeros, don't be shy. Well, there's one, two, three zeros in our factors. So we're gonna need one, two, three zeros in our answer. And when we're done, we have to put in our comma. So two times six might be 12, but 200 times 60 is 12,000. Let's look at the next one. Box the fact and multiply, and we're boxing everything but the zeros. Nine times five is 45. Add on the zeros, one, two. We're gonna add on the zeros to the end of that, one, two. Throw in our comma. Nine times five might be 45, but 90 times 50 is 4,500. Quick shortcut. Box the fact and multiply. Three times seven I know is 21. Add on the zeros. There's only two zeros total. Seven doesn't have any. So we're gonna add on the two zeros after the 21. Throw in our comma. I know 300 times seven is 2,100. Last but not least, five times two is my fact. I know five times two is 10 and add on the zeros. I need two more zeros at the end of this. My final answer is going to be 1,000. So what you're gonna do is you are going to grab a piece of scrap paper and you are going to pause the video in a moment and have these problems showing. And you are going to go ahead and you are going to write down the letter of the problem. You are going to copy the problem down, show your box and dot and answer the question. For example, if this was letter A, you would write letter A on your paper. If the problem said 80 times 20, you would write that down, but then you need to show your work. The showing of the work is showing the strategy box and dot. Box the fact and multiply. 8 times 2 is 16. Add the zeros. There's two of them. So we're going to put two in our answer and throw our comma in. That is what I would like you to do for every question. So what you're going to do is you are going to pause this. When you're done doing all six questions, you're going to hit play. And when you do, I will move the video into the answers so you can check your answers. So go ahead and hit pause and do these six questions. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go over the answers here really quickly. 
Um, I'm going to go through them super duper fast because you should have already done them. So for the A, we're going to box the fact and multiply. 6 times 2 is 12, and 1, 2, 3 zeros, we get an answer of 12,000. For B, remember it's 5 times 5, not 5 plus 5. 5 times 5 is 25, with 2 zeros is 2,500. Box the fact and multiply. 3 times 9 is 27. 1, 2, 3 zeros, you get 27 thousand for answer choice C. All right, for D, we're going to box the fact and multiply. This is an easy fact. One times seven is seven. One, two, three, four zeros. One, two, three, four zeros here in my answer. Throw my comma in, I get 70,000. E, box the fact and multiply. Six times four is 24 with two zeros in our factors. So we're going to add two zeros in our product for 2,400 as an answer. Last but not least, 5 times 6 is 30 with 1, 2, 3 zeros, 1, 2, 3 zeros, and boom, 30,000. Hopefully that made sense to you because that will be an amazingly important strategy for a nice shortcut coming up. So you guys are done with box and dot.